we all have rights as human beings and as nigerians we do have rights hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is something quite different because of what has been happening and what the situation has been so far especially in my country back in nigeria i couldn't just sit back and not do anything today is a regular upload day for me but i chose to actually put out a content i feel is very dear to my heart and will help a lot of people okay so just a big a brief background about myself i was born in nigeria i came here about five years ago so i have a very deep root back home in nigeria all right so i understand i lived in lagos nigeria which was one once the capital of the country and i understand that there are different law enforcement agencies that have been set up to cater for different crimes there's the sas um, there's a police force of course but the subject matter right now i'm going to talk about is a sas which actually stands for the special anti-robbery squad just as the name implies it was set up for the purpose of fighting and robbery and robbery is a maintenance in the country so i guess that's the reason why they were set up okay if that's the reason why they were set up i don't understand why they have now turned into a combat between themselves and the citizenry young people who fend for their money young people who try to make life uh, um, mean, a meaning out of their life they are taking their lives they are punishing them for no just cause so the situation right now what actually causes uproar what actually caused this hashtag which is NSAS and police brutality and a whole lot of other hashtags going on right now is a recent case of a guy who was who was shot dead for no just cause he could be walking on the road and you are stopped just because you have say an iPhone you know that probably they'll question how you can afford it or you have a flashy car or they cite you with some some sum of money they could stop you and demand to go through your phone first of all that's invasion of privacy we all have rights as human beings and as nigerians we do have rights okay and i was watching a video today where a supposedly knowledgeable man is saying how can a 30 year old have a car what over seven million i want to have a look at your phone and i want to see your facebook i don't think i'm committing any crime there because for me i'm only asking you a simple question it is your questions your answers that will lead me to go beyond where i started because i can't dictate crime by mere saying you i can't dictate crime by asking you questions i see you with a car and i have assessed your age and I know in Nigeria, I know how difficult it is for a particular person who is 20, 30 to start having a car that's worth seven million. I cannot be as a police man. Master. say such a thing. Not everyone who, ha who drives a good car or has a good phone or is looking good is a criminal. There are so many cases of indiscriminate killings of, year of the youths in Nigeria. So tell me, and I ask again. If all the youths are killed, then who stands to be the future of tomorrow? Who stands to be the future of tomorrow? There's a case of a youth copper who was arrested. And then in the cell, she was raped and killed. And when the set of people, they accost on you, they don't let you make calls to your family or your friends. So at the time they take you, you're not even sure if you're going to make it alive you're going to make it back home i read of a of us of a, someone a pastor uh, not a pastor someone who was you know um taken one time and he begged for him to call his family his wife to say this is where i am and they said to him how are you sure you're going to make it back home they shoot just the way they choose recently a young girl died of stray bullets a young girl people are dying in the country now is a hashtag now everybody needs to know about this now even cnn right now has carried the story because it's getting really unbecoming has led to change <laughs> this needs to stop not everyone who looks good not everyone who has a mercedes 
not everyone who has an iPhone or a good phone is a criminal. Every human being has rights. The youth have rights. Let them give them the right to anything they want to do. Why do you take the lives of innocent people? The most recent of all, because as a protest, a young boy in Obomosho was shot dead. And guess what? He wasn't even protesting. He was standing in front of his home and looking at the protesters. And there was sporadic shooting in the crowd to the, to the protesters. And a stray bullet got at him. And before he was rushed to the hospital, he died. There's been cases in the protest where the you know tear gas have been thrown at the protesters, where water tankers have been sprayed at the protesters. Why is this happening for God's sake? This protest has been so peaceful. Why would the police force now come out and start killing the protesters? They're arresting people because they are protesting is their fundamental human rights. Right of speech. They can talk. They can protest for their rights. If the president is not coming out to speak, then they have to speak. Somebody needs to speak. Somebody needs to stand for the youths. They were called lazy youths. Now they have channeled their energy into bettering the country. Something should happen. Please, guys, I'm coming out to do this video as a YouTuber. The little voice I can render, the little I can do, I will do. So I'm calling everyone, my friends, my family. If you can at least retweet, if you can at least share, but do your session, your own quota. Okay, so if you live abroad and think that it doesn't concern you, I'm sorry, you're sadly mistaken. Because guess what? You have families, you have friends back home. Guess what? You might want to go home in December and you could be mistaken for, for a Yahoo or someone who does crime because why? You look nicely dressed. Why? Because you use a basic furniture that an iPhone everyone has in America. You could have it in Nigeria and they will assume you do, you do, you do crime. I know people who buy cars and send to Nigeria, you know, before they go, so they have a car to use back home. What if you fall in those shoes and it's a car you worked so hard for? Do you know what it is? You earn that money, you go home, you're driving a car of your own sweat and you're mistaken for a criminal. So guys, please don't sit down and say this doesn't concern you. Don't sit down and fold your arms. Your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your friends are back home who are suffering. People are dying daily people have been arrested because they're exercising their fundamental human rights the special anti-robbery squad needs to end the youths are not asking for a reform we are asking it to end and for the police it needs it needs to be a reform because they cannot just carry arms and do anything just anything they choose to do you know why this whole thing was going on it brings me back to an experience i had with a friend a guy friend of mine back when i used to live in nigeria we're driving down vi yes the guy had money he had a very flashy car of course i mean he's working for his money we were stopped and he had i think he had some bundles of money in the car we were stopped and then he came out they mistook him for someone who probably does crime or whatever i don't do crime he showed them his particulars showed them everything he could show they came in, started searching the car, and they saw some money. And of course, the money attracted them. And guess what the man said? I think it was a policeman or a sad, I don't remember. I think it was someone in uniform said, don't let me waste you now. Because you have access to guns, because you have access to firearms, doesn't mean you can threaten people and actually carry out your threats. This needs to stop. In my, in my description box, I'm going to leave, you know, different links of how you can support. Okay, please sign the petition. Let your voice be heard. SARS needs to stop. There needs to be a reform in the police. There needs to be, there, there needs to be a reform. And but for the SARS, it needs to stop. It's disheartening when you see things happening. Even while there's a protest going on. I watched a video today 
of something that happened somewhere in Lagos where the so-called SARS are still perpetrating their acts and guess what one of the guys actually threatened the guy that he was going to waste him just yesterday it happened while the protest is going on what is the government doing what is our, our, our honorable president doing I beg you sir do something I'm here over in America I can say it doesn't affect me but I'll be I'll be lying my friends my family even people I do not know when I hear these things back home it's sad at this time in our lives these things cannot be happening it shouldn't be happening I beg you my friends my brothers my sisters People I do not know, the fact you are abroad doesn't mean that you cannot lend your voice. Go ahead and retweet, go ahead and share, but let this awareness go down and let everybody know what is happening. To the point that even CNN, like I said, has carried the story. Even um, foreign celebrities have carried the story, such as Trey Songs, Drake, and a host of others have carried the story. And thanking all our Nigerian celebrities, the video, who's been protesting in Abuja, Whiskey, who's been protesting in London, Tiwa Save, Tenny, Mayoku, and so many other celebrities, and every single person who has come out despite, you know, putting their lives in danger, they have come out to protest. I hear the protests going on in New York, in the Nigerian house, the one happening here in Dallas, the one happening in Houston, the one happening in DC, and all over america in the uk i think all of you let's come together as one just this time and channel our energy channel our strength to ensure that we get our lives back nobody knows tomorrow if you think you live in america you live in the uk and you're never going back home never say never you don't know what tomorrow holds what if you find yourself back in nigeria it's not a curse what if you find yourself back in nigeria what will you do so if you've ever had any encounter with the police force with SARS, leave your experience in the comment section down. We need to lend our voice. Guys, go ahead and sign this petition. SARS must be stopped. Some of you will say yes, the IGF police came out to talk about SARS being stopped. This is like the fourth time they have told the citizenry that SARS is stopped. All they just want is for the noise to die down and then they perpetrate their act all over again. And thank you for, uh, for I think, Aisha Usman, the very brave woman, the conqueror of our time, who has been lending her voice, who has been protesting day in, day out. Your effort will not go on, on, on noticed. Guys, let's come together. Please share this video. If you're my friend and you see this video, please, you know, turn that in your own quota. Share a retweet. Speak up. The youths, their lives are in danger. We are the future of tomorrow. We need to be protected. Our leaders need to protect us. The youths don't deserve to die of stray bullets. The youths don't deserve to die because they're driving a good car. The youths do not deserve to die because they have an iPhone. The youths do not deserve to die because they look good. Not everyone who keeps dreads are bad people. Okay, I'm a foreigner who lives here in America. I have never been threatened by the police. I have never had to be scared of my life. So why should I live in my country and be scared of my life? Guys, please, hand in your own quota, do what you need to do. Everybody speak up, let our voices be heard and let's come together and put an end to this madness going on in our country. Thank you guys for listening and stay safe. Just stay safe. Do what you gotta do and let's have a formidable force and stop these menace going in our country. We are one Nigeria and we'll definitely make Nigeria a better nation and a nation that the world will be proud of. Thank you guys and have a blessed week.